can't believe this world to put someone like Rona in this school. My father was appalled when he heard that they accepted a scholarship student. Just because she's smart, they pay her tuition? What is wrong with these people? It is just plain wrong. What's the point of paying all this money to go to a private school when they let one of those poor people in? Right? How private is that? Exclusive? I think not. Letting someone like Rona Redquist into this school brings our reputation down to a Walmart level. What's Walmart? Uh, oh, it's some kind of store for the unwashed masses. <laughs> you know, I heard they don't even have valet parking. <laughs> As if Edie and Trixie said they went to a place like that once. Imagine having to park your own car. <laughs> oh, I can't even. You know, my father is considering sending me to Scottish Pines Academy. They never heard of such a thing as a scholarship student. But they don't have the long hair to do Miss Worthington's. My mother went here. That makes this place practically prehistoric. Oh, I hear you. At least we can continue with our plan to drive out, Rona. We gotta step it up, though. I want to rid this place of her before sign-ups for next year's classes start. I couldn't stand to see her face at spring fling. It would ruin the festivities. At least she couldn't get a date for the Holly Ball. <laughs> that would have ruined my getting crowned Holly Queen for sure. Well, sure. She sure does bring down the holiday of life around here. I thought she would give it up by Thanksgiving. Oh, hey, remember when Patty and Daphne got Patty's brother to ask her for a date? And she was supposed to meet him outside the library? And Jerry never showed? And she waited for three hours in, in the, the rain? rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I would die laughing. Remember that time Muffy accidentally spilled a caramel macchiato all over her term paper? And she had to redo it, but it was late by the time she could print it out of that ancient printer. <laughs> It was a waste of a good drink, but, you know, it was well worth it. Oh, you know, my favorite was when Lily poured salt into her bed, and that night when Rhoda jumped in, she crawled out screaming. <laughs> my favorite is when Betsy took a straw and sucked all the cream out of the Twinkie, then refilled it with toothpaste, and Rhoda started to eat it. You know, for a smart girl, she sure is stupid. Imagine eating an unwrapped Twinkie. <laughs> Well, she is bound to give up soon enough and move back to her apartment in Slum City. Oh, can you imagine living in an apartment? No, I could never. The horror. Tonight might well do it, though. What's happening tonight? You haven't heard? No, spill it. Me and Trixie got Scotty to take Ron out on a date. He's going to act all nice and sweet to her, then bring her back here and tell her how disgusting she is and what an awful time he had. Oh, I would die to be a wall to see the look on her face. I'm going to be listening from the dining room. It's going to be better than reality TV. Oh, I'll listen from the study. Oh, here they come now. Better get a move on. some kind of holy terror. Then why'd you go out with me? I, I'm dating Nancy. Excuse me? I lost a game of truth or dare with her and her roommate Trixie. I, I'm sorry now, please. I, I know it was stupid. What? How could you do this to me? Why do they hate me so much? Do you think I'm just kind of a dog they can just kick around? And you, I really liked you. You monster, you two-faced are an excuse for a man. Rona, I said I was sorry. The girls put me up to it. It was stupid. 
stupid now. I know that. I'm tired of taking this kind of code from the girl. I'm gonna get them back. All of them. One by one. Nancy? Whose side are you on, Scotty? I can't believe what I just heard you telling her. That wasn't what was supposed to happen. Now wait just a minute. No, you wait a minute. You and I are through. I don't want any part of a backstabber like you. You know what? That's just fine with me. Because you and your group of friends are nothing but a, a bunch of rude, spoiled brats. Get the hell out of here! What's going on in here? This traitor, my ex-boyfriend, just loves up a really good plan. A trick on Rona. stumbled in from that door with a knife in her back. Shirley Adams had been stabbed to death. Now, Mrs. Kane, you're the house mother here at... This is the Emerson house. Right, they're all named after famous authors. How very literary of this school. <laughs> now, how long have you worked here, Mrs. Kane? Ten years, ever since my husband died. And... Uh, who was Shirley's roommate? I was... And what is your name? E.D. E.T.? No, it's E.D. E.T.? <laughs> no, it's E.D. I go by that because my real name's Enid Dory. <laughs> and it's awful? That's the truth. E.D. is not much better, but it sure beats out Enid. Wait, E.D. beat up some girl called Enid? No, my real name is Enid, you clock. Now, let's get back on track. Uh, how long have you known Shirley E.D.? Ever since we were little girls, I just don't see how anybody could do this to her. She was so sweet. How could anybody do this to her? Young lady, that's my job to find out who would do such a thing. Mr. Burke. The Detective Burke. I'm sorry, Detective Burke. But when I phoned Miss Worthington to tell her of this dreadful news, she was outraged. She won't stand for having her reputation tarnished. tarnished. Or since she's confined to a wheelchair, I guess you could say she won't sit for it. <laughs> could it have been some escaped convict or some serial killer who was still lurking around the campus? That's possible. All of you need to keep your eyes out for suspicious strangers. Murderers come in all forms. Does anyone know anyone who didn't like Shirley? Anyone with an axe to grind? Anyone who made a threat against her? Any clue might help? I heard a threat made right here in this room. You did? Who? It was Rona! Rona Rehnquist! What was You're said? kidding. Unbelievable. I should have known. What was said? Tonight, in this very room, Rona said, I'm going to get them back. All of them. Is that true, Scott? Did Rona Rehnquist say that? Call me Scott. Just, well, did you just tell the truth, son. Yes, she said it. She said, I'm going to get them back. All of them. One by one. But it's, it's not her fault. They were mistreating her. And why is that, ladies? She doesn't belong here. Her family has no money. So you make her feel unwelcome. You don't like people who aren't rich or from a different class. You don't like people like me. What if we don't? There's not a lot of us must be nice to people. We have freedom of speech. I learned that last week in history class. Well, I'm glad to see you're learning something else besides acceptance here. Yes, and I learned... I learned that free speech thing too. And how to do a French parade. That's not a French parade. Anyways, it's not against the law that we just can't friend people. So they have a whole TV show on it. They also have a disclaimer that says, don't try this at home. Shows what you know, this isn't at home. <laughs> just a few jokes. And we didn't take them from TV. 
We came up with our own. That little bit of fun isn't a justifiable reason for murder, is it? If I was treated the way you girls treat Rhoda, I'd want to kill somebody! Rhoda, do you have anything to say for yourself? I do hate these girls for what they did to me, but I wouldn't kill for it. And I didn't kill for it. Okay. Uh, who was the last one to enter this room? I guess I was. And who was in here at the time? Nancy and Scotty. So, Nancy, you and Scotty were here in this room when you heard Rona make that threat? Actually, I was in the dining room. In the dining room? What were you doing in there? Listening to Rona and Scotty. Why? Well, you see, me and Trixie set Scotty to go on a date with Rona as a joke. And I wanted to hear what happened. In fact, Shirley was doing the same thing in there when this psycho killed her. I see. Uh, Betsy, is it? Yes, Betsy Van Buren. Who was in, or did you see anyone else outside the hall before you came in? Well, as a matter of fact, I did. It was Rona! Well, looks like we found the killer! I can't believe we've been living in the same house as her! Inconceivable. Now, ladies, let's not jump to conclusions. I didn't do it! Detective, go after her! Nancy, I can see you're used to ordering people around, but I don't take orders from you. Mrs. Kane, would you be mind, uh, would you mind showing me where Shirley's room is? Of course. Right this way, detective. I know that Rona killed poor Shirley. I'm sure of it. That girl needs to be locked up. I love the way you girls convict someone without any evidence or a trial. Oh, come on, Scotty. You know that no one else had a motive as that scholarship girl. We have everything to lose. She has everything to gain. I am not going to stay around and listen to you. Scotty, wait, I want to talk to you. I heard what you said, and it's fine with me. I don't want any part of a girl like you. Scotty, you come back here! No way! And it's Scott! Come on, Betsy. Let's go tell the other girls at the other houses. I'll tell Hawthorne and you tell Thoreau. Can't we just text them? And miss the look on their faces? Come on. You're right. They will absolutely die.
she came back after she told me what a cookie's were. Evie. Now you can't be that tired, Evie. If Daphne doesn't get back here soon, there won't be any cookies left. Indeed. But the lab technicians will find this lemonade quite tart. Did you make this lemonade, Mrs. Kane? Who may I ask are you?
room. Hey, Pont, you imbecile. I know which room it is. I own the school. I designed every house on this campus. This one looks mint. You know my motto. Sticking with the status quo, moving forward, you will go. What I want to know is why that Mrs. Kane didn't answer the door and we had to let ourselves in. Well, I suggested that we would call ahead. And what kind of surprise inspection is that? I don't know, Miss Worthington. Something must be done about this house of horror. Yes, Miss Worthington. Then why are you still standing there? Go find Kane, girl. Do you think I have all day? Yes, Miss Worthington. Not me, I'm all for that. 
Hello, Rhoda. Scott. Fancy meeting you here. Did you come to harass me? No. Do you know a reason why I should? That's what all the other girls have talked about all day. The people who are left. Really? They seem to convince themselves that Rhoda is the killer. Well, Rhoda, if you were the killer, there'd be some evidence. All we have so far is that threat. I have done some research and you're a smart girl. You wouldn't have made it so obvious if you were planning to kill them. Crime of passion? Whose side are you on? Yours, yours, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to make sense of all of this. Who do you think killed them all? That's the million dollar question. I don't know. We're doing some checking and looking at some suspects. Last night, Dirk, with, uh, the groundskeeper, was here in this room when the bodies were discovered. Talked about being at the wrong place at the wrong time. But what do you know about him, Rona? Nothing much. He's new here. Seems like a nice enough guy. Nancy he says he's new here and a bit on the strange side. I'd like to find out where he used to work before coming here. You know, I think I can help with the legwork. I know a woman in the uh, administration office. You do? Yeah, my mom's cousin Wendy. I can see what she'll tell me. See what you can find out, but don't break any laws. I'll hurry. Just don't worry, bro. I will clear you. I do have my work cut out for me and finding a motive for these killings. No spoiled witch girls were mean to just about everyone. Oh, uh, Rona, could you leave me alone with Nancy and Trixie? I want to question them privately. By all means. Thanks for getting rid of that creature. Why haven't you arrested her yet? I know she's guilty. I didn't come here to talk about Rona. I came here to talk about Mrs. Kate. Whose side are you on? That old blabbermouth? Yes. This morning I read a complaint that the girls at the Emerson house, except for Rhoda, were signing against her, uh, demanding her termination. What was that all about? She just isn't any good at her job. That's for sure. We were all brought up right. All of us except that free ride Rhoda. We expect quality servants. Our parents pay good money to send us here. We shouldn't have to tolerate someone like Miss Kane. I'll second that. I'll speak to her. Do you know where she is? She was upstairs cleaning. Or should I say? Attempting to clean. That's part of the problem. She just can't do a respectable job with any of her duties. Enough of that hag. When are you going to do something about Rona? Or are you going to wait until she kills all of us? No, I can't allow that to happen. Not in deprived humanity of your charming personalities. How dare you insult us? I will tell my father about you and he will have your job. Oh, I'm so scared. Come on, Trixie. Let's go to our room. We have some calls to make. For sure, the scenery in here just went from bad to worse. I need to talk to you, Mrs. Kane. About what, Detective? I spoke to Miss Worthington. She's not handling all this very well. She's old and very frail. Her assistant, Gladys, is doing the best she can. I heard something that she was getting uh, the school when Miss Worthington died. Yes. That's an interesting development. She had no living relatives, so of course Gladys would be getting the school. She's bad and scraped for all these years. She knows how everything runs. That's an interesting development. These murders have just left on the old woman in, haven't they? Pretty much. You know that there's talk that Miss Worthington might be planning to dismiss you. Yes, I know. Gladys told me in our weekly bridge game. It's unjust. That's about all I can say about it. I put in ten good years here, and they're trying to railroad me. Uh, who is? The girls. Really? Nancy and Trixie are the center of it. They came in after curfew one night, so I wrote them up for it. That made them mad. Now they're out trying to get me fired. They've been talking to the other girls, and they've been talking to Miss Worthington. Their family's money talks. Really? What's the matter, Roman? Oh, my God! What is it, Muffy? She's dead! Who is?
believe that they're all gone except us. She really has followed through on her promise to get us back. All of us. One by one. I just talked to headquarters. What happens now? Rowan, I'm afraid I'm going to have to book you on suspicion of murder. There's just too much pointing towards you and nothing concrete towards anyone else. I'm innocent, but I'll go. The trial will prove it. Don't hold your breath, Rona. I talked to Daddy. He says it sounds like an open and shut case. Hold your sentencing until after the trial. Come on, Rona. Where are you taking Rona? I'm afraid there were two more murders while you were gone. Betsy and Muffy. And he caught Rona with Muffy's body. Detective, listen, I think I found something out that may interest you. If you'll just let me speak to you in private for a minute. Girls, can you go outside for a minute? With Rona? Are you out of your mind? Detective, Rona can hear what I have to say. Come on, Trixie. Go. I'll be in the kitchen cooking, or should I say, attempting to cook. Ward, will you, will you position yourself outside the front door? Now, what's so important, Scott? I asked my mom's cousin, who works in personnel, and she told me that Dirk used to work at St. Bridget's Academy. And I happened to have a doormate whose sister went there. So I pulled him aside and asked him what she told him. And his sister, Angela, had told me all these stories about Dirk. How that he had weirded the girls out, so they made accusations that he leered at them or said inappropriate things to them. And that made me realize he was the same person Nancy would talk about. Nancy and the other girls would flirt with them, would flirt with him, try and get a reaction out of him. Well, that adds some other possibilities to the story. What's more, I saw him on the way over here. He was looking up at the windows, but when he saw me, he turned away and walked away. I'll see if he's still there. This could lead to a plan to clear Rhoda. I'll be back. We're gonna find a killer. I can't believe you're trying to help clear me. I just want you to realize that I'm honestly a nice guy, and I'm really sorry for my part in that prank. I do. You've proven you believe me. Uh, and I can't hold a grudge, especially when the guy's as cute as you. Have a seat, Dirk. Now, uh, what were you doing out there, Dirk? Just doing my job. And what were you working on? Weeding the flower beds. Do you like working here, Dirk? I mean, I guess it's it's it's, it's an all right place to work. Lots of pretty girls live here, don't they? Uh, I I guess. All right. You better get back to work, Dirk. Wait, you're just gonna let him go? He's right outside. My officers have him under surveillance. Girls, could you come back in here, please? Mrs. Kang, could you come in here for a minute? I have to go check out, I have to go and check on something. You girls can do your own thing, except for you, Rona. I need you to stay in your room and, until I, I, I need you to stay in your room until I come back for you. I guess I should finish cooking dinner. I guess there will only be two of you to dine tonight. Rona, I'm not going to jail. I will care for you. Thanks. Even a girl like me needs a hero. Trixie, do you mind leaving me alone with Scotty for a moment? Of course, Nancy. Whatever you want. Just like always. How could you, Scotty? I thought you were my boyfriend. Laura is right. I'm sorry. Your boyfriend? You said we were through. That was a break! Now that you see how desperate you are to shoot the bottom of the barrel with Rona, you should get ever touching me again after kissing that pig. I hardly think Rona is the one who's the pig. Look in the mirror, Nancy. I like her. She's a much better person than you'll ever be. No! Nancy? Thank you all for joining me. Are you sure you're right, Scott? I'm just shaking up is all I've never been.
been shot at before and I've never had to catch a dead body before. Detective, are you satisfied yet? Are you going to lock up that psychotic piranha or are you going to wait for her to kill me too? Yes, Detective. I am shocked and dismayed that you haven't figured out who the killer was. The reputation of my school has gone straight into the rubbish pile. I will never bounce back from this. Please, Miss Worthington, don't get so worked up. You need to remain calm. Now let's look at some theories. Mrs. Kane had the motive to kill the girls. They were trying to get her fired. And Miss Pierpont, I just read that Miss Worthington wasn't leaving the school to you in her will. That would be a reason to bring this, down this house of cards. And Dirk here. The girls were flirting with him like they were at the other school. He didn't want to get fired. No, no, I didn't, but I, I, I would never kill them. No, Dirk, you did. You never left the flower bed by the road. And Miss Pierpont was at the police station with Miss Worthington. Miss Kane was in clear view of the kitchen window when, as she made chicken tetrazzini and salad for dinner. So that leaves Rona. She must have gone out the back door and then into the study to shoot Nancy. I suppose she could have done that. The only problem with that theory is that Rona never, I never left to go out and deal with important business. I went into Rona's room and waited for her to get there. Rona never shot anyone. And Trixie, we never said that Nancy, sh uh, that Rona shot Nancy from the study door. Scotty must have told me. Did you? I never said any of that to anyone but you. I didn't think so. Oh, so it was you, Detective! I, I knew that you were jealous of her status and her wealth! Hardly. The idea of going out, out in, a, in a round was, the good, uh, was a good one. But the only thing I couldn't think of was uh, motive. I couldn't think of anything until I saw an old issue of the school newspaper on Mona's bookcase. There's a picture of Nancy being crowned a Holly Queen. And the look on your face, Trixie, was hardly one of happiness for your friend. So I went into your room, and I saw your diary on your bed. And you left it out. And with, I guess with Nancy not being alive anymore, you could just leave it out all by, your, all by itself. So I took a look through it, and I found out how much you really wanted to be Holly Queen. And that's not all. No, that's not all. I wanted to. I was the first one to register for the competition before Nancy jumped on the bandwagon. I can't believe that all of these girls voted for Nancy instead of me. I also wanted Scotty for my own reason. I saw him first. Nancy met him later and took him like everything else she wanted in her life. Well, she's gone now, and I'm going to have him. If not in life, then in death. Don't anyone move or I'll kill you all! Don't anyone try and stop me or I'll murder a bomb! Oh, you will learn to love me, Scotty. <laughs> Holly is so good for you. Now that Nancy's gone, I am the new Holly Queen. I was the runner up! Oh, my baby. How come it had to take you this long to realize how much you love me? I'd like to be the first person to show you. <laughs> now it's like one of those movies. 